I'm a fan of TV. Welcome to the studio. Thank you for watching this video. We have some breaking news for you. Coach Steve Compella is back to Mamilodi Sundowns. And Bafetu, we decided to call a Sandawana. You know, you've seen him a lot on the channel. Blindos Priami. Brian, I'm saying, I'm going to break the news. And I'm going to talk about the phone now. I'm going to talk about the phone. I'm going to talk about the phone. I'm going to talk about the phone. We are here to serve. Yes, sir. Brian, I'm going to talk about the phone. I'm going to talk about the phone. Brian, I'm going to talk about the phone. Brian, I'm going to talk about the phone. Coach Steve Kompela is back. Yeah. Back to your team. And I'm still on a recent school. I'm going to talk about Coach Milani. But now they've brought back Steve Kompela. And about he... Senior coach, Priam. Okay, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Like, what is a senior coach? Because, like, for example, I'm on top of We don't even know. Like, now my guys with senior coach in there. Yeah. To be honest with you, with these new roles that Imam Ali Desantowns is actually introducing, mm. um, I'm, I'm, I for one, um, I'm starting to actually educate myself and teach myself, mm. um, as, a, as from a, a supporter's perspective and a technical person's perspective. But in general, mm. I think the her senior coach role is a title that was given to Steve Gombella out of the respect of the man he is. And, and and his career mm. um, and that he was he's a former head coach mm. so basically a senior coach is is a, as an assistant coach is someone who who's the right hand man of the of the man who's leading the ship i don't know in this instant it will be mangoba because uh, his agent umay makab uh, said that mangoba um, mngiti will have a different role it might not be an assistant coach role it's not a head coach role it's a different role that is not known in this country so even the senior coach role is a different role that we've never seen in this country mm. that was given for the first time to steve compella i feel that his day-to-day his -day job is uh, simple similar to the head coach responsible for implementing our strategies to win football games um is there to to to, to build the physical conditions of the players working with the conditioning coaches is there to implement tactical strategies um is there to train players on a day-to-day -day basis um including our sports scientists and our conditioning coaches so um his day-to-day -day involves working with the technical staff with the players and being there at three o'clock or eight o'clock whenever it's match day mm, yeah mm, mm. and as Brian, uh, 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 steve man uh, strikes me as a very professional coach yeah. uh, i once uh, ran into the guy uh who coached steve before i'm a fan to tv uh, actually, in the plane, me, me mm. just said, I did Imango at the time. I don't know mm. what happened to, to Imango Airlines, but he was in the plane, da, and then Ngamboli, so you know, uh, I even took a picture with him. Yeah. Ah, he's a very good person. He was like, ah, I want to shop. He was like, Steve. So, you know, he was still coaching riding at the time. I think he was still coaching, I think, Iaros at the time. Iaros, yeah, okay. Yeah, before he went to Sundowns. I think mm. it was still that time. Uh, but yeah, he's, he's, he's a good guy. So, um, what can you say about uh, uh, Steve? What can people expect? Because he was at Sundowns before yeah. and in Wafaya. What do you think uh, people can expect from him? There? And to be in, to be honest with you, the the three years uh, that he stayed at Mamelodi Sundowns were incredible. I think he played an imp important role in the technical stuff. Yeah, was very important for both coaches at the time. I'm a co-coach, coach Roland. But him as a person, I think Leangwe Nyaliana as man is. Is an asset to South African football. I hold my ah, He's a very good human being. He's a good human being. Ah, he's a good human being. Um, yeah. he's a very humble person. Mm. He's a philosopher. He's an educator. He's a you can you can say he's a teacher. He's a father. Very smart. He's a friend. Very smart. Mm. Very calm. Um, knows knows how to also manage in media as well. I think that might be one of the roles that he might have at the club. I'm not sure. I don't, I'm not really there, but I think also he knows how to speak to the media. Mm. He knows how to engage with with people. He's very respectful. Players see him as a father. I think Jay in general, even with football fans, uh, he never makes one feel like a fan. He mm. always makes you feel like a brother. Mm. You know, um, he takes care of people. He advises people. He's he's an incredible human being, man. So Coach Steve, to be honest with you, has helped so many people in this country, has um, changed so many people's careers mm. in terms of getting the players in the right direction. Because, you know, in this country, we've got a, a culture that I don't want to speak about now. Mm. But to be honest with you, he's he came into Isuelos, for example. And the Swilos, you know, there were players that had a culture of a drinking culture and stuff like that. Mm. And in his first interview, when they asked him about those those players, he said to them, the, 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 those players, they must first understand the first mandate that you mm. are in football to feed your families. So that's the first mandate that they must understand. And then it's to grow as a human being. So mm. that's why he always says that human being has to be better than the player. So he comes in and adds that dimension of... Coach Rulani is a person that always said that Mamelodi Sundowns are incredible human beings. Yeah. And I guess Coach Steve Compella comes into that aspect and says, these people are good people. 
uh, because for you to even be a football player mm. you need to be a coachable player mm. be a good human being so that you can my instruction so that the club can move forward so yeah and I, in general is an incredible human being a good person a father Mm. You know, he's done so much for South African football. He's coached so many teams. Our uh, being PNG is dead suck and the amount of teams that he's coached. Sure. I, mean, I think this guy has done about my respect about free state stars yeah. or platinum stars. I think he's got done case achieves my respect United and he's back again now as a as a senior coach from Mamelodi Sundown. So he's had an incredible career. He's an incredible human being. I, there's a reason why um an institution like Mamelodi Sundown would see value in having a person like Steve Compel. Natural. Yeah. Manja Paya, uh, Mingbona, I'm a comments, social media. People are saying, should Inkinga, it was Coach Rulani, mm. because he left Wayagusuelos. Now, immediately after Coach Rulani, he took Vaya, Seba Mbuyisa food. So, like, what's your take on that? To be, to be honest with you, um, what I know, like, like as, a, as a technical person, what I know is that there's always clashes in football. I'm not saying Coach Rulani and Steve Compella had a clash. I don't know. But mm-hmm. there's always a disagreements in terms of strategies and, and, and beliefs. And, and, and think, yeah, when, when we work together at some point, you know, there, mm-hmm. there comes a point where even when we work together, we might not agree on certain things. We can clash, yeah. You know, Steve Compella yeah. is a coach that loves to be involved. You know, probably then Coach Rulani felt that Michael Michael Loftman would be a better assistant coach for him, mm. the bringing him closer. You understand? Because he's the reason why actually I'm where I'm landed from AUS or England. I mean to say, mm. and brought him as a performance analyst good writing. But to be honest with you, I don't think they might have had a clash. You might find out there's two ways to look at this thing. Mm. Steve Compella is his own man. He might have said, I've stayed three years, I've achieved what I wanted to achieve, Gumamelu de Sundowns, and I want to be a head coach. Mm. And he went on to Isuelos and became his own man. And another way would be that Coach Rolani probably wanted to bring Michael Loftman and bring his own people. You understand? Mm. Bring in a Patela, uh, uh, Snetemba Patela, to be responsible for to deal with the, the players that are left behind every time when the team travels. Yeah. You understand? And to engage also in training and to participate in, tra- in training. Mm. And also to link the MTC with the senior team. That's why I brought to Patela a little bit closer. Mm. I heard Utsovi Lagazi saying those were may probably were one of the reasons why the club in the hierarchy, because Dr. Patrice loves our legends. Mm. There's certain legends that were no longer in their positions at the club, bringing in those people that he also entrusted mm. with to dealing dealing with the players because remember Yola, for you to be a head coach mm. the responsibility of the players 100 percent must be o- on you yeah you understand you don't want to be giving a much responsibility to other people that you might not trust because also this thing works in a trust yeah so he brought in people like about patel he brought in about people like about michael loftman and he probably felt that there's no space for steve compeller that's another way of looking at it at all you understand but yeah now steve compeller in terms of being at the club and their relationship, he's the one that identified Rulani to come to uh, Platinum Stars. To, to Platinum Stars? To Platinum Stars. Oh. Coach Rulani was actually, when they speak about it, they say, Udai, and Coach Rulani was actually doing a transition training. He was an under-19 coach. Mm. Steve Compella at the time was the, um, was the senior coach. At, mm. at, 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 at Platinum Stars. Silver Stars, Platinum Stars. I think it's Silver Stars, if I'm not... I think it's yeah, maybe with Silver Stars. Yeah, maybe with Silver Stars. Yeah, Black, Black, stars yeah. Yeah. I think at the time it was Silver Stars. I, I don't know. I think they will correct us in my comment section yeah. as they did in Kodi Sang. But yeah, came in, introduced him, worked with people like about Ellen Fries, about, about Kevin Johnson, about Steve Compella. He had he had a he, coaching education that mm. has been top. So mm. meeting with Steve Compella at the time, remember he came as a as a national team coach as well. He was the former under-23 coach, developed some... He's worked with incredible uh, co- uh, players mm. at the time so imagine grasping that knowledge so i felt that steve compella played a huge role in 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 the develop in the coaching education and the development of a coach like urulan so that's why when he brought him to mamelo he probably is the one that recommended to steve compella to the to the technical director and to yeah. the management to say yeah. can we bring in a coach that i feel is more like a a father figure next to me who will understand because Urulani also yeah. you need to understand he's a very he said it himself that he's a very difficult person to to work with he's crazy sometimes you know yeah, totally, yeah. yeah but in a good way because he wants to win football games and stuff like that yeah. so having a person like Steve Gombella uh, maybe calmed him down a little bit uh Pep Guardiola did the very same thing with um yeah uh, uh, there's this assistant coach this old matter Juan, Juan Manlilo um mm. um Juan Man I think I think I'm pronouncing him right mm. he's an older version he's he's a very old coach but Pep Guardiola says he brought him for a reason to Manchester City as an assistant coach because he's a little bit crazy. He's too emotional yeah. and stuff like it's, that. It's All right, yeah. He's too he's too yeah. emotional and then 
and 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 sometimes he says things that he shouldn't be saying so yeah. you need those people to calm you a little bit down because anyway football is a game of emotions yeah. so they handle those situations so steve compella initially mm. when it was a co-coach kind of a role it was it was so important in those and i also understand steve compella is also a coach that is very involved in training yeah tall it's very involved mm. in training mm. yeah when you told Abraham good he clashes are there yeah. if people are wicked, there's nothing wrong there really. yeah. with and also strong about Shuguti, you find that he wanted to be his own man yeah. as in a team vaya let me go and coach in another team yeah. and then maybe now it feels like okay maybe now it's the right time to to go back yeah. we understand so yeah but you never know Abraham strong about Shuguti, clashes are also, there and also there's contracts involved probably they said the reason why he came back because probably he was released mm. right and when he was released he probably said okay i want to be my own man but now renegotiating his contract with his agent they probably gave him more responsibility now than he had mm. in his previous contract you understand yeah. maybe maybe now he has more responsibility maybe he has more say now to say more special maybe not in the transfers yeah or or maybe he might have in because they implement that's the reason which is another point that i want us to talk about mm. after the one yama technical directors their responsibilities and their role he yeah. probably might have a, a, a role or a, a say in in the ins and outs or mm -hmm. recruitment strategies he maybe on day to day um, um strategies and plannings maybe he might be involved in in the training sessions the the player selections ama substitutions because those those things are also important to coaches having a say you know yeah. they may maybe he has more control you know maybe man noba promised him that maybe you'll have more control of the team you know we might give you you know these conversations are had in the boardroom you are not there but i would like to assume as a technical person that they do have those conversations yeah or give her prime i mean mm. for you to leave a head coach position yeah the the job about i mean uh pel i mean arose you are coaching you are the head coach or yeah. pet so for you to leave it means with maybe the offer yeah must have been a great offer yeah. that you couldn't refuse yeah, yeah. um and another thing as well prime there's also a package salary package which will maybe like you go to taller yeah. it's way more than like maybe you're getting a rose you understand yeah. so ring if i am no you're taller prime mean. so another thing as well prime I mean, um do you think would he is sundowns will still get a head coach because other people are saying okay maybe chongo baba letter coach steve as a senior yeah maybe umang oba the team will announce to know umang oba is now the head coach or do you think would maybe they will go with these two or maybe they will get a head coach when i'm a rumors but if i was in bow logo a coach in he he riding he pagania because he just won a treble he was treble ne he went at table 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 he's invincible and he won a, a cup yeah a table no and but he there's a possibility that he's coming to sundowns so do you think they want to go with these two when i push it yeah yeah do you think they want to go with these two or they want to get us in bow to be honest with you um and this this question should be posed actually to the technical director because now But to the i think here in this country you can interchange them sporting director technical director i think we you can just juggle around them yeah i think the, these questions to be should be posed but when when we just to answer the question um i was listening to mike macab mike macab says that um, they were negotiating with the club mm. um and 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 the amatin questions was stole a bit and they didn't understand why mm. but maybe he they understand now because that means the club was still in conversations no coach rulan mm. so they are willing to give umangoba a new contract but it's a different role from being an assistant coach and the head coach mm. so we don't know what the the, the role is yet um, but if he's saying umangoba is not going to be the head coach that means there is a head coach coming mm. um, but again the statement of the club says um Steve Kompela is coming in to assist umangoba and the technical staff so mm. there's a confusion there between the agent is confusing us and the and the club but i don't know maybe that that's i'm a pr stunt law to to get us talking i'm sure mangoba would probably be the head coach steve would probably be the assistant coach but if they do bring in remember the, the one of one of the reasons one of the roles of a sporting director right is mm. to protect the investment the chairman mm. more especially more especially with a chairman like Utlopi, right mm. which is his father was a president dr patrice mzipe has been involved i think he got my advice from the president of barcelona about dr ivan cause about dr um kezam taung and then he gave the responsibility to his son of course and then his son is trying to build obviously ama long term strategies mm. long term developments i understand and 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 ama short terms so he brings in a person that's going to protect the, his investment mm. So you you look at a player like you look at a person like Flemingberg he's coming in to to be the the the, the right hand man of the chairman mm. so he's responsible for a lot of things he's responsible for a player recruitment 
is responsible for building a a, 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 a high performance culture at a club mm. he's responsible for 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 the development team he's responsible for the ladies team the senior team mm. um he's he's, resp he's responsible for a lot of things loan deals in my middle of says structures one one teams development that are playing guma satellites they're playing rent central league um gdl he's mm. responsible for a whole, a whole lot of things mm. so remember also yola coaching mm. now a lifespan of a coach is probably 12 to 14 months anyway mm. so that's why the the model of a technical director i i for one vouch for clubs in south africa to to start shifting into that direction i'm a technical director yeah you look at a team like his cocoon which is they've got floyd did uh case achieves the court case junior my military sometimes they've got a flaming back i don't know with the rest of the other teams i think i was telling bosch cape town city they do have a master because those people are responsible for implementing our long-term and short-term strategies mm. aligned with the vision of the club mm. You understand? Mm, mm, they mm. are not there. The role of the coach is to deal with the day-to-day -day basis not of right. managing the team, getting the team in the right shape, and being there, go, 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 match day, making sure I'm a substitutions, choosing mm. the team, choosing the lineup. But now then you must understand, and this is the model. Mm. The model of a technical director is if the coach, if the coach's lifespan is 12 to 14 months, yeah. all, you cannot build a model that only sustains the coach because now you are bringing in a coach that's going to come in with his own players. And then after those 14 months, you must really least 14 to, to to you can't compete at the highest level with the big clubs mm. so you bring in so you bring in you bring in a technical director someone who's going to be responsible for driving the ship how does it drive the ship in the first place you are not responsible for building the vision the vision comes from the chairman and the board Mm. the style of play comes from there the chairman is the one that says i envision this this is how i see my yeah. sundowns what are the objectives we got, 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 got flaming back for example is to get my military sundowns as the best club in the in in africa mm. is to have my um, international ambitions to do well international and to also produce one of the best academies in africa mm. which is going to produce players linking it closer to the senior teams making sure that he produces the the, the best women team you understand mm. those, those are very important to his to his club to his objectives mm. and then now when he brings in a coach he brings in a coach yola that fits into that vision and those strategies so you don't bring in a coach that doesn't so bazo tabantu um for example, people used to say, oh, Jose Mourinho can't come to Barcelona mm. because Barcelona has a certain philosophy. So they hire a coach. That's why I'm showing it. Oh, Steve is brought in. Oman um, is, is still at Sundowns mm. because they align with the vision of the club and the strategies of the club. Mm. There is no point where um, the technical team will, will not agree on a player and the technical director brings the player. They need to both agree. Mm. If the technical director says no and the coach says yes, they can't bring in that player. Mm. Vice versa. Mm. You understand? Mm. So he's responsible for a lot of things and sensitive things like making sure that the team makes profit. So mm. he's responsible for our player contract as well, negotiating those things. Um, when you move on to a, a role like a sporting director, like Fleming, uh, bring in sponsorship. You see Abu 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 Rock Nation. You see Abu Abu Sanlam and all and all those little things. Mm. Um, he's responsible for the scouting department as well. Mm. Mm. So it's huge. He's mm. responsible for a performance analyst. He's responsible as well for profiling players. He's responsible for profiling the staff as well. Mm. Because for you to even release Urulani, you need to have profiled the staff, conditioning coaches. Who are the future conditioning coaches that you want to bring Umamelu to Sundowns that can actually be better yeah. than the ones that you have now? Mm. You understand? They Usbura resigned. But I can tell you now, we already have a conditioning coach that has been profiled. That is going to come into Sundowns and fit into the club's vision, mm. strategies, and systems. Do you understand? Mm. So, mm. so, so those are one of the reasons why the technical director or sporting director it's model very is very important. You yeah. understand? Yeah. So I can break it down deeper. Mm. I can go deeper into this. I hope that we can. I know that people will say, "Yeah, I'll need to cut it short in Kepezul," but because of time. But this thing would probably need its own we'll, episode. We'll, we'll, we'll have more conversations. Yeah, more conversations uh, about about yeah. the role of the technical director and the yeah. why he needs to be scrutinized, Diding. Uh, because there's a question that comes up yeah. and says, w "How do we hold them accountable?" Yes, you understand. Yes. Because if we are going to say the coach has objectives of winning the Champions League, what are the sporting directors' objectives here, and how do we hold them up accountable? Because in South African football, it seems like these things are a culture shock, but these things and these systems, these models were were long there. Yeah. So now, as fans, we need to start understanding, come to the party, understand these these roles, so that we can hold them accountable. Look at a, mm. a person like U, U Floyd Impele, for example. Mm. Look at what is done with Kukuna United. U Floyd Floyd he's mm. the one that actually wanted to bring Fernando de Cruz, which mm. is the, 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 the assistant coach now, which is the chief, before they brought in Ulfonon OCM. Mm. 
Mm. I understand. Yeah. He's the one that 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 brought in. Utema, if that deal, Utema, that deal didn't happen. No hamba oyelan dulsono no CM. Actually, anyway, he was his former captain. Go pirate. He said, okay, let's yeah. give dulsono. And dulsono no did well. Look at the players of Abasaina. You look at the release of Mkocho. Mm. Look at the profile that they are bringing in again. They are bringing in a Munar mm. to mm. Utesh. Utazo was mm. stabilizer like Mkocho. They were stabilize. Look at the signings that they are bringing in Mkocho and they make a deal again to get another player from Cape Town City. Mm. You look at teams like about Cape Town City, the the, the 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 importance of also building our um, um, recruitment structures and then mm. the scouting department investing in those little things so i'm just hoping that overall as fans and south african football loving people um when i all we can start growing into investing um our time in learning about conditioning coaches performance yeah. analysts um because now i th- i don't think the people that are only responsible are only the coaches yeah, I think we've seen last season. I think I spoke a lot about conditioning coaches and their role and how important they are for the team because the coach doesn't mm. do drills. It's the, it's the responsibility of the conditioning coach to make to sure that things. the warm up. You come to the players, yeah. uh, you know. No, but I'm asking, I think we need to make time. Uh, yeah. You know, and I'm sure a lot of people that are watching now, the the the, the viewers, they're going to be appreciating the city's because yeah. you're educating them about so many things. So yeah. we have to do an episode, Priam, where. We, we we focus on it and yeah. you know, we discuss it the role of the technical uh, uh, director sporting director mm. uh, you know conditioning coaches no we'll make yeah. time for it yeah. uh, but this one was about uh, coach Steve, Steve Compello yeah. with his back and the manager Priam do you think Abo Jongoba Usbuda is resigned do you think Abo Patela they're going to also resign or they're going to also remain there I heard that Upatela is gone. I'm not sure. The club hasn't confirmed, but I, Usbura, Usbura yeah. Masang, which is the conditioning coach, confirmed is gone. Um, obviously, um, Usbura sitting as a conditioning coach, and I myself as a conditioning coach, if the head coach, mm. they say to the head coach, you have failed on achieving your objectives, that means I myself have failed. But because I, part I, yep, I'm responsible. I'm his, yeah. I'm his, I'm his leg. I'm his wing. Mm. Uh, I'm the one that's responsible for ensuring that the players don't get injured ensuring that the players are ready for the game yes. regeneration um you know training blah 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 so if he feels that the coach Rulani has failed i think he feels himself that he's failed so that's why he's resigned he was not fired but i think he resigned and i mean i actually funny enough i went mm. to high school no 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 Padela. Yeah. i think i once told you this uh of camera pretoria when uh, Sundowns was playing. I actually went to to high school now in Vista High, mm. um, but he was uh, he was I think two years ahead. I'm, I'm sure if you were to watch this video, uh, you, you, you would remember yeah. me. Yeah, I think it was two years ahead. Then it means after he, he made he metric, then he went to study sports, mm. and then I mean, that's when I went to a film school. Like I said, after I went to some film and television. But yeah, that's a story for another day. But an incredible coach. Um, yeah, they let from from a scale from. Eskelum Timane, he was playing Iklen Vista, Mega mm. Lavele in the in the school team. And I think Timara and Amanda Triple S as a Vista, funny enough. Clean Vista, I, I, know. Know. I think I think that's where they train. Yeah, yeah they triple S. He was actually the head coach before he left to All Stars. Because we were Pete E Triple S. He was but the one that, that, like SAP. Oh. In the in the blue stream, I think but the blue stream. It's a very competitive stream, though. Very oh. very competitive. I think we coach Malaven manje the factory of passes. Ah, I want to jump on the Kulumanga again. Yeah. Ali, I they call him. The, but anyway, to be honest, it's just I think they released a person like Kutilene Solomon, which was mm. the head of Ama um, analyst. Mm. Um, I think um they are we are restructuring sometimes. I don't know it it will come good or you know we are yet to find out, but. I, 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 for one, want to trust the Uklopi, the chairman of the he's, club, he knows what he's doing. and the people that he's hired. Young, I, I, for one, I just want to support the club and support the vision of the club, whether it works or not. Let's see. But I'm happy that big clubs and I'm a South African clubs. I think now, even y'all, mm. we are a league that is going to be um, a technical director model ran league. Mm, I think, I think that's where the teams are shifting to. It's a sustainable, it's a sustainable model. Yeah. Because, like I said, I'm a lifespan. Even here in the PSL, how many co- chop and changing of coaches? The lifespan of a coach is more is twelve months to fourteen. Yeah. Day. So if you have someone to implement our strategies and systems and bring in the right, if this one fails, you bring in another one, the other one. So I think that's the reason why Abu Steve Compella they've been brought into the system. Yeah, totally. uh, maybe they are there to help. I think we will see other announcements. as Dama Viga Hamba. Yeah. Where they bring in the 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 um, yeah. Oh, I push over there. Yeah, where they bring in the. The, the the analysts the yeah, conditioning tall. coaches which are also going to align with what Abu Mangoba and Coach Steve want. No, you're totally right. I mean, actually, yes, you are right. We are going mm. to that era. Very, I'm a sporting director. I mean, if you look at Arsenal as well, Arsenal, mm. Edu, yeah. Ateta, uh, 
Edu responsible for signings as well. How the the vision of mm. the team, the vision of the Kronkies yeah. as well. George yeah. Kronky is is the, is the chairman, and then mm. he's the one who yeah. Edu running the team. So you're right, Brian. Uh, Manchester guys, United example, Dean Ashworth now bringing in restructuring their management so that the club could be ran. You know, it, it's 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 a new it's a new model. But I mean, as we have to make a, a video, see, 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 see discuss, mm. guys. But as soon as we video, guys, yeah, like Coach Steve. <laughs> so, guys, uh, you've heard it. Uh, Coach Steve Kombela is back at Mamelodi Sun Towns. Uh, Coach Steve, all the best for the upcoming season. You've heard it from the technocrat. Ulindo Pep, Uishilo Bafetu, Ipulilo, Waipula, Waipula. Made us understand so many things. And also the role of Coach Steve coming into the upcoming season. So, Bafetu, Sevala, from me, your boy, Sipiwe, Yolamba. Tintu anaseka, Bafetu. Tatung, Begu, Pindu, Nkrete. Ama fans, Yotu TV. Don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos from Ama fans, Yotu TV. Sifigi, Yolamba, Bafetu. Tanko. Tanko.